What is going on guys? Welcome back to Shorty episode number four. This will be the last sort of part where um, the car's in color, the car is buttoned back up with all the bar work, all the spicy little bits and pieces. So this, this, this sort of wraps up the build series for now. There will still be plenty more that goes on on the Shorty throughout the period of the year, don't get me wrong. So there will still be plenty more episodes around it, but this is basically gonna wrap up from buying it to what it was, the white rusted out shit box, to rolling out the booth in the new color, all buttoned up, looking a million bucks. So there's still plenty more that I need to do to this car. Stay tuned for all that throughout the year, but it won't be as consistent. And it'll still be all over the social, so make sure you keep following, keep up to date with everything that's going on with the shorty if you love the build. I promise this isn't the end of it, but let's get stuck into this episode. So a very, very exciting thing has just rocked up in the mail. One of the last little pieces of the puzzle for the GQ. Um, just down here. For those of you that don't know, Mitch and I are sponsored by Tech for Tourers or Locked and Loaded is sponsored by Tech for Tourers. Um, they've gone above and beyond with the headlights that, I've, that I wanted. We've been talking about this for months. I think our, our first conversation started September, 2023 and They've rocked up today in the mail. I cannot get over the packaging. This is unreal. You look at any other company that's out there, they are not doing this. This is like next level sort of stuff. So, um, absolutely stoked. Let's get into it. I wanna show you guys the lots. Have a go at these. Look at them. They're so nice. Wow, I cannot get over how nice these things look. Heaps of stickers. Damn. Damn. Yeah, look at this. So on your control box, you've got, this is literally how easy it is. Red and black, power and earth, your turn signals, splice them into this, then they work. Direct plug and play to your original H4. Plug your harness in, straight on the back of the lights. Plug and play, simple. I've literally got a wire in, four wires, two indicators, and a power and earth. Easiest installation ever. God, so good. And just the quality. I cannot get over the quality of these lights. They are incredible. I'm so, so excited to put these in. Update, the patrol is in the booth. We've 320 the whole cab. Uh, scuffed up the jams, primed it all up, bagged it up, mastered it up, it's all ready to go. We've got color mixed. It is very, very close. We're about to start spraying. All right, so Dylan has just mixed up the color here. We'll give you a quick look. And to your belief, 1G3. What do you reckon? Whoever guessed it, give him that sticker pack. Sticker pack. Sticker pack coming your way, whoever guessed it. I haven't even looked at the video yet, so. Oh yeah, 1G3, we're gonna have a baby little 76 series. Yeah!
Alrighty-o, so just checking back in with another little update. Just going into the booth now. Basically, base coated at about midday, and we've just been letting it flash clear, flash clear. And this is how it's looking at the moment. Absolutely gorgeous. Graphite's popping, looks like glass. It's really, really nice. We do have a little bit of a run just up here, but that's an easy fix. And um, yeah, no, it's, it's actually come out really, really nice. Um, the graphite looks amazing. Very, very, very close to the 76 graphite. Um, yeah, so sick. Cannot wait to see this thing put together. All right, so it's a few days between clips. I'm not really sure where I was up to, but cab's been painted. That's sitting next door. I've been fitting everything else back up. In here, we've got all the rest of the panels, um, doors, rear doors, guards. Uh, like, everything's all been base coated, ready for clear. And then tomorrow, when we pull this out of the booth, we'll get the bonnet in. And then I've just got a few little bits and pieces like the snorkel, the grill, the mirror backs, um, just a couple other little bits and pieces. But 90% of it is, is in color. You know, we have enough here right now to put the car all back together. Just the bonnet is the last panel, and then the rest is all just little bits and pieces. Bar work got sprayed last night. I'll throw in a few clips of that. We've just got to do a few, um, few little baby touch-ups on it and give it another coat. So it's just been sitting outside baking all day. But yeah, getting very, very, very close. of the new windscreen going in. Brett from Protector just come in and uh, got a fresh windscreen in, new rubbers, the whole lot. So massive shout out to him. Thanks for coming in on short notice, getting it done for me. Looks a million bucks. It's great to have that 2020 vision again. Certainly cannot complain. And yeah, had no dramas with this. Everything looks mint. Um, buttoned up quite nicely. Thanks again. For the snorkel color, We've opted to go something just a little bit different to throw a little bit of pizzazz in there. Originally, I was just gonna do... Zinga? Just a straight jet black with a bit of metallic, same as what I did on the flares on the 76. It's pretty basic, simple, just gives it a nice little touch, but we'll, um, I'll throw a little cinematic over the top right now. We've opted to go for this Attitude Black, which is another Toyota trim color. Um, we just made a few slight altercations. It's normally got a blue mica pearl that runs through it, but we've gone red instead just to follow like the black graphite and red sort of theme i think it's going to look really sick and um no doubt at the end of this video when you see it all buttoned up and put together we'll see just how nice it turns out currently 11 30 at night this is a friday night um i've been here till midnight nearly every single night this week getting this patrol done i've had like two or three time lapses where the battery has died so i actually don't know how much i've got on camera because i just put on a time lapse and forget about it but current state guards are on doors are on back doors are on the grills in the front lights are in this thing is finally, finally buttoning up. There's a little bit of clear coat run in here. 
That was only due to the second coat we did. A little bit of extra reducer. Literally could have happened to any panel. It was a, a freak mistake. John is just gonna touch that up tomorrow. Um, but in the booth, we've got the bar. This was painted today. Looks mint. Rear bar, mint. The mirror backs and a rear garnish. I'm just gonna let them flash off. I've had enough for tonight. I'm absolutely knackered. I've gotta do a little tidy up and, um, and you know, tidy the shop up. But we've made some huge progress. Not sure how much of it was on the time lapse. Like I said, I just put it on and forgot about it. Um, oh yeah, all the, the rear glasses all in and a brand new windscreen. So there will be a little time lapse of that because I know I did get that. But otherwise everything's looking sick. Like door cards are all back on. Everything's working. Um, dash is all working, lighting up properly. All the gauges are working properly. Coming around the front. The headlights are working, they're looking absolutely sick. With the gloss black grill, I don't know why my, why my wipers are on that. It is fucked. Ooh, better turn them off real quick. All right, so yeah, moving back around the front. Lights looking absolutely sick. Um, yeah, this thing looks flawless. Just needs a really, really good clean and a little baby tidy up. That thing looks sick. I went gloss black over the chrome grill. I definitely, definitely rate the gloss black. It's gonna tie in really nice with the bar work and everything else that we're doing. Um, I can't believe how far this car has come. I just a massive thanks and shout out to all the boys and everybody else that's been coming around and giving me a hand. You all know who you are. Um, but yeah, most, most especially Dylan Schmidt, um, Dill, He's just been bending over backwards from MTF. Like, me and him, we've been staying here ridiculously late hours. And not just working on this, but, you know, doing other stuff as well. But I would not have this anywhere near as close to what it is if it wasn't for Dylan. And not just that, I want to thank Dylan for just pulling me out from just trying to take shortcuts. Or going, nah, it's all good. Like, you know, just paint this. Like, we're not going to see it or that's not going to be seen. Like, and he goes, nah, do it properly. You've come this far take the extra five minutes, do this, do that, and he's just been keeping me real level-headed. So massive shout out to you, Dil. Um, yeah, so sick. So sick to see this thing. Just where it sits right now, like right now, this is dope. This is so sick. So we're getting very, very close. Very, very, very close. Oh yeah, 11.30. This is a daily occurrence for me. Mac is bags everywhere, a few beers. You gotta stay hydrated, you know how it is. But yeah, we're getting there. We're on the home stretch, baby. Let's go. All right, so it's been a very, very busy morning. A um, little bit after lunchtime now, but we're buttoning all the final things up on this. So the spare tire, 35s. Turns out they don't actually fit properly on the back door. So the factory spare tire bracket's still sitting there as per normal, but I've used, there's two Two bolt holes here, and then another one that sort of sits down here. I've brought it up just so that weight can clear the rear bar. Like you can see the bottom of the door. So now it's, it's nice, door shuts properly, plenty of clearance, we're not stressing about that. Um, previously, it was sitting on that rear bar. So this actually works a hell of a lot better. It all buttons up quite nicely. All right, so a baby little voiceover. Been a super busy morning, got the rear bar on, the bull bar on. This is just a star crew bar, looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, spotties, just some steadies bolted up. Little GME whip, which you can see there. All of it ties together quite nice. Yeah, I think it uh, really makes the front end look well with that gloss black grill. So not long after this, I get the bonnet on, the snorkel on, and then I get a few little clips together where you'll see the shorty completely finished. But massive shout out to Tech for these lights look absolutely sick. Check them out. But here's the shorty.
So sitting right in front of me is both my cars in the driveway back at home. I got in early this morning and pieced together just the last couple bits and pieces on the shorty. I got the bonnet on, snorkel on, plumbed it all up. I was in there at 5 a.m. I've got night shift tonight. I'm literally about to take the patrol for its first drive, its first registered legal drive, other than bringing it home um, for two and a half hours out to work. So, fingers crossed all goes well. I'll have a little bloopers or whatever if, if something goes pear shape, but it seems to be really good. Um, mechanically, everything's working exactly how it should. The TD's running beautifully. Um, everything else seems to be really good. Needs a wheel alignment, but other than that, seems to just be Mickey Mouse. So, check this out. We got them both sitting in the driveway. Damn, Casper not happy. Um, yeah, I got them both sitting in the driveway. How sick is that? So, this, this is where we're gonna wrap up the end of the, basically the shorty build as, as it sits. There'll still be plenty more, like I'm sure I'll play with that TD. I'm sure we'll do something with the diffs. There'll be plenty more to come on it, but as as the evolution, I guess you could call it, from what it was to as it sits right now, I don't think, appearance-wise, it's really gonna be changing too much. Like, I'm super, super happy with how this thing looks, how it performs. Um, massive, massive shout out to everybody that's lend a hand or whatever it was, especially MTF, like going over everything with me. You know, they, um, they gave me the workshop, the facilities to be able to come in, prep it, um, the knowledge, the guidance that I needed to get it done properly and Johnny just for hanging off the gun and just doing an absolutely flawless job. If anybody sees this at Rocky Nats or in person, you'll understand this thing looks absolutely mint and it's off the gun. It still needs a little bit of a buff and D-nib, but it is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just spitting at the moment and you can just see the water's just beading beautifully on it. Yeah, yeah, not really the 76. But absolutely stoked, over the moon. Once again, massive thanks. Thank you to everybody that's watching, liking, commenting, following along, all the comments and messages that I get on Instagram and all my other social media platforms. I appreciate the love and support. I hope you guys like, well, love the shorty as much as what I do. It's been a hell of a build from start to finish. I'm really sorry I haven't you know, filmed more and been just more in detail and, and giving you those longer sort of episodes that you've been asking for, but it is so incredibly hard by myself. Like I've got people that are hanging around, but you can't always just get somebody hanging off the camera. And um, yeah, but as it stands, this is the shorty. This is where we're at. Thank you very much for following along. Hope you guys love it.